Madam Chair, now recognize the gentlelady from California, Ms. Caps, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I thank you all on the Commission for being here today. As you know, I represent Diablo Canyon Nuclear Power Plant, which is owned and operated by PG&E. Diablo Canyon is a major contributor to our local economy and obviously plays an important role in our state's energy portfolio. But it also sits on two earthquake faults, the Hoskery and the Shoreline. So safety is obviously always a top priority. Now every power plant must be built according to a safe shutdown earthquake SSE standard, as we know, which is the maximum ground shaking that key safety elements are designed to withstand so it can safely shut down. As a condition of Diablo Canyon's operating license, the NRC required its safety systems to be evaluated using industry standard evaluation calculations and tests to ensure that it could meet the SSE levels. But the NRC did not require the same industry standard calculations and tests to be used to evaluate the safe shutdown standards for an earthquake along the Hoskery Fault. In other words, there's a lot of new information since those standards were set, which was predicted to be stronger than the reactor was licensed to withstand. I believe that's sort of commonly understood now. And since then, of course, we have discovered a shoreline fault in the same region, which is even closer to the reactor and also not yet fully understood. It makes a lot of my constituents very nervous. To my knowledge, the NRC has still not required safety testing using the same industry standard methodology that originally required in its operating license. In other words, there is some inconsistency here and now. Dr. Michael Peck, the NRC's former senior resident inspector at Diablo Canyon even filed a non-compliance, non-concurrence report with the NRC saying that the reactor was not in compliance with its license. Chairwoman McFarland, in light of Dr. Peck's expert opinion, what is the NRC doing to ensure that the reactor is in compliance with the seismic safety requirements of its operating license? The, uh, the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant is in compliance with... Well, he's written this report that's dissent <coughs> dissenting. I'd ask you to answer in light of that. Right. And the, and the NRC's view is that the Diablo Canyon plant is within compliance, that there are actually three design basis earthquakes, the design basis, the double design basis, as you mentioned, and also the Hosgri earthquake. When that was discovered in the 1980s, the plant was reevaluated to see if it could withstand that, and it can. When the shoreline re, fault, I'm sorry, re, it was reevaluated to see if it can withstand the Hosgri. The Hosgri, yes, and, and it can. And the shoreline fault was evaluated by independent analysis, and that fault uh, is bounded by the design basis earthquakes. An earthquake that that fault could produce well, is bounded by the design basis earthquake. So the plant is considered within compliance. But let me let say me that we are now. We've asked all nuclear power plants in the country to reevaluate their seismic hazard, and so Diablo Canyon is in the process of reevaluating their seismic hazard, and their seismic hazard reevaluation is due into the commission in March of 2015. Will, will this new uh, evaluation of Diablo Canyon that they're doing themselves uh, 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 be required to prove that the reactor can withstand the stronger Hoskery and shoreline earthquakes using, are you using the same industry standard methodology required in the operating license for the safe sh shutdown earthquake? We're using uh, the most up-to-date methodologies to do the seismic hazard reevaluation. Do you believe they fully I incorporate the, the, you do believe that? To, well, to, to the best of my knowledge, but I can certainly take this uh, for the record and uh, do a more deep, give you a more detailed answer. Well, it is a complica complicated issue, and I, this is just a five-minute qu uh, question, but I wanted to make sure that uh, you could provide me with a copy of Dr. Michael Peck's differing uh, professional opinion. Are, are you able to do that, please? I will so have that to. I could have a copy of it. Yeah, I will have to check on that, but uh, I will uh, take your larger question for the record here and give you a more detailed answer. Okay. Your, um, uh, your response is rather troubling, particularly in light of the recent changes in NRC's transparency policies. I'm curious to know whether, uh, you know, this new policy of, of the fact that, that only the ranking member or the chairman are allowed to ask for information, does, uh, how that affects um, your decision. 
you, you know, I want to be clear here. We, we haven't significantly changed our policy. We are uh, going to be as responsive and as transparent as we ever were. And certainly, when you have concerns about a reactor within your district, we are going to respond as, as, uh, as, as completely as possible. I appreciate this. And, and I know, Mr. Chairman, I just want to make one, one final comment, because I am looking forward to getting these documents soon. This is of particular interest to my constituents. I am pleased to hear that in, that in response, uh, uh, that in light of the recent changes in the NRC's transparency policies, that you are still willing to get a response to us. But I am very troubled by these new policies that really preclude transparencies uh, from members of, of a committee with oversight to be able to ask directly for uh, uh, information, both as a member of the committee and as the one with a nuclear plant in my district. I find the policy it, itself to be uh, unacceptable, and that is with no offense to my uh, good friends, the chairman and ranking member, but uh, I should be able to freely address your committee. And, and, and you it sounds you like still you are. are. You right. still are. I appreciate and, that. And, but I hear your concerns. All right. Thank you very much. Go back. 